Greetings, fellow mathematicians. We're going to take a look at how to find the McLaurin series for e to the x. Now, the only difference between a Taylor series and a McLaurin series is the center point. For a Taylor series, the center is at x equal a, where a is a non-zero number, and a McLaurin series, the center is x equals zero. Now, for both of them, the coefficients, we calculate them by calculating nth derivatives and then evaluating them at our center point. So for a McLaurin series, we're going to have to calculate an nth derivative, find the pattern for that, and then divide by n factorial. So let's start with our function here, f of x as e to the x, and calculating the derivatives, that's going to be really simple. Our first derivative, f prime, is e to the x. The second derivative is going to be e to the x. And in fact, it doesn't matter how many times we differentiate e to the x, the derivative will be e to the x. So we can get a nice pattern here for the nth derivative of e to the x. It's just e to the x. Now for a McLaurin series, we're going to evaluate this at x equals 0. And we get e to the 0 which is 1. Now be careful, a very common mistake I see with some of my students is they think that this is the coefficient for a McLaurin series, but be careful, we take that nth derivative and divide by n factorial. So let's go ahead and divide that by n factorial to get our nth coefficient c sub n. It's the nth derivative evaluated at 0 divided by n factorial. And if we plug that in, we get 1 over n factorial. And that's it. That's our formula for the nth coefficient. And we can just plug it in and get our McLaurin series for e to the x as the sum from n equals 0 to infinity. We have our coefficient determined as 1 over n factorial. And that multiplies x to the n. And that's it. Now, I always think it's a good idea, once you have your formula here in summation notation, just write out a few terms so you can see what it actually is. So if we start with n equals 0, recall that 0 factorial is 1. x to the 0 is also 1. So your first term will be 1. Now we go to n equals 1. We get 1 over 1 factorial times x to the first power. Now we go to n equals 2, 1 over 2 factorial times x squared, and we'll go one more term to n equals 3, 1 divided by 3 factorial times x cubed. And that is our McLaurin series for e to the x. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed this short video. If you did, support the channel, like and subscribe.